Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be giving you guys my top 20 iPad jailbreak apps for 2010. Um, there were a, actually a lot of apps to choose from, more than I originally expected. Apps are tweaks, because they, a lot of them are tweaks. So that is good, even though the iPad has only been out for about 8 months. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, there are a lot of good ones, and hopefully you guys will find out about some new ones. If not, see some ones that you've already seen. So first off, we're going to start off with Folder Enhancer, which basically by the name enhances folders. As you can see, when you tap them, they open up extremely quickly, and you can, have, you can even customize the folders by having um, pages in your folders like so. You can drag this over here, and you have pages, and it is um, very customizable, and it just works really nice. Tons of options, too many to go through at the moment. But the main thing is paging and um, basically a great alternative to infinite folders. Next off, we have a tweak that was also on the iPhone uh, top 20 list, and that is scrolling board. Scrolling board is allows you to have your music controls and stuff right here on your dock instead of having to double click and swipe to the left. And also, with an S, you can get an SB settings add-on where you can quickly enable and disable um, things such as a tweak I'll get to later. So it allows you to do that, and along, if you do not have Folder Enhancer, it allows you to scroll folders uh, vertically, but I already have Folder Enhancer, so Folder Enhancer overrides that. Really cool, um, it's just great to use, and it's very uh, it's very neat how they did that. It's a lot easier to access, and it's great for when you're listening to music. Next off, we have Graviboard. Um, Graviboard is kind of just like a hobby tweak. It's not going to provide you any functionality, but it is really fun to play with. So if we go ahead and tap and hold the status bar here, I'm not sure my iPad is in a stand, but all these icons are falling over here, um, maybe because it's in a stand. Either way, you can kind of fling your uh, icons around and play with them and uh, things like that. So it's, uh, it's really cool and uh, definitely should check that out. Um, like I said, just kind of a uh, hobby thing. It's not going to provide you with any extra functionality, but it's really fun to play with. Next off here we have lock info, so we'll go ahead and go to the lock screen here. And as you can see on my lock screen I have email messages, um, calendar, um, notifications, to do, and just like a whole bunch of plugins that you can get for such as to do apps and things like that. Um, basically just puts all your information on your lock screen. Some people may not like this, but it's useful for those who do like it. So definitely check out lock info in Cydia. Next off we have here is luck. Topus. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it allows you to lock apps, um, specific apps, on your home screen. That way, people can still use the uh, the iPad or the iPhone, but they will not be able to access certain apps. So we can go ahead and hit that lock button, and now when we try to open up Notes, it asks for a password, which is password in this case by default, and it goes ahead. It goes ahead and launches up. So that is locked Topus. It'll be in the description below in case you don't know how to spell it and it is really cool. Next off we have here, great for people with lots of springboard pages, and that is Overboard. If you hit the home button, you can go ahead and it takes you to this nice selector, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but you can go ahead and jump from page to page uh, by tapping the, or tapping the page you want to uh, go to. So very cool, it's called Overboard. A ton of different customization options available with that tweak. But um, you, iPhone users should also check that out. All right, next here we have Retina Pad. All right, Retina Pad. Um, I'll try to briefly explain it. It, if you have a iPhone app and it runs in that two-time mode, it can often be uh, a blurry, a blurry, a blurry. Sorry, my bad, blurry. And when you open it up with Retina Pad, it doesn't lose any. It does, it's not all pixelated. Because Retina Pad enables I or Retina apps that have Retina graphics in them to go ahead and launch up in 960 by 480, which makes it bigger. Not only bigger, but there is no blur or pixelation that occurs. So it works with basically 99% of iPhone apps. I haven't heard of one that doesn't work. It just says 99% on the description. But um, definitely check out Retina Pad for things like Face. At, Facebook, and other applications that are only made for the iPhone. All right, next we have here is Safari Download Manager. Let's go ahead and um, I won't have time to actually show you this 
actually I might if I do this quickly. If we go ahead and go to download.com and we let's just say we download something on the right, I'll go ahead and talk about it while I'm getting there. Um, so Safari Download Manager allows you to download files directly to your iPad. Um, I put this on my list because it not only allows you to download files, but I think it makes it more of a computer um, because the iPad without jailbreak cannot download files and that's one of the ma major features of a computer. So I think this would be very helpful and as you can see you can download or download to a specific location. Can it download? It appears in the downloads up there and it'll go ahead and download. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that and we'll move on to our next tweak. Next one we have here is Full Force. Um, this used to be necessary, um, but it's really not as necessary anymore, but it's still, in my opinion, important. So if we go ahead and go to Full Force, and we're going to say, let's go ahead and try an app here, WFAA. And basically what it does, if it does not work for the specific app, as it does not work for all apps, it makes the um, iPhone app run in full iPad mode. So if we go ahead and launch this, as you can see, it's taking up the full screen. Looks like this isn't going to run perfectly, as you can see, but it's okay because it does work with many applications like Facebook um, and stuff like that. So that's full force. Um, it does have some issues with not working with all the apps, but that's okay because it's still pretty cool. All right, next here we have is next tweak we have here is stay open. Um, stay open if you're let's say you're browsing the app store and you really do not want to. Uh, you want to install multiple apps and you want to install them quickly, you can easily do so by just tapping here. I'll go ahead and download Fruit Ninja Lite. We're going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and type in my password. Just give me a sec here. Okay. And once you typed in your password, it will automatically start downloading without kicking you out of the app. That's basically all the tweak does, but it's very helpful. I can continue browsing the store without being yanked out of the app. And when I go back, Fruit Ninja uh, HD, or the light version, will be downloading right there. So that is a really cool tweak. Stay open. Next here we have Switcher Mod. Switcher Mod was also on the iPhone Top 20. And basically the main feature of it, in my opinion, is it puts these minus buttons um, on the icons by default so you don't have to hold them. And, then move, uh, and you can also rearrange them. That's one other thing. But that way you do not have to hold and then exit out of them. You can instantly, when you pull this up, they all have the red X's. And ha they said they're bringing um, other features, so we'll see what else it brings. But it's just a nice tweak to have on your um, iPhone or iPad. Next here we have is iFile. iFile is basically Finder for the Mac. It looks um, probably looks familiar to Mac users. If not, it just looks like an awesome, awesome program. It just allows you to browse your file system, edit, plist, um, look at photos, just an all-in-one, um, just an all-in-one, I guess, finder. I don't want to go too in-depth about it, but it's very helpful, especially if you're trying to fix things, um, edit files, cheating games, if you like to do that, and other things like that that's necessary. Next here we have is Quick Lock. Very simple, um, but I thought it should be on this list just in case you have a broken power button right there. You just go ahead and uh, tap it, and it'll go ahead and lock your iPad, that's all it does. Um, really nothing much else to say, but it's very helpful if your power button is broken. All right, next here we have Gridlock, which is how this icon or this springboard page is set up. I can go ahead and place any icon wherever I want with this tweak. It allows you to do this with iconoclasm layouts too. So if you have like a six by six, it'll still do that. Seven by eight, whatever it is, I just have the default right now but it allows you to drag it anywhere on the grid and as you can see there are no blank icons. So very useful you can go ahead and like uh, make shapes or something like that. You can go ahead and uh, I don't even know what that is, almost a rectangle but either way go ahead and make shapes like that and make letters, excuse me, write out your name and other things like that. So that is Gridlock, another awesome tweak to check out Insidia. Another tweak we have here is Covert. Covert allows you to um, go ahead and do private br browsing on your iPhone and iPad. Um, I'm d I don't really have time to show it to you right now, but it allows you to go ahead and it won't save 
cookies or bookmarks while you're browsing and it won't keep any history. So whatever your needs are for that, if you have any, just you can go ahead and use that. It's called Covert. Um, it might actually have some issues with the iPad, but I'll go ahead and look into that. Next up we have is Display Out. Display Out um, is another one that I cannot show you. It, is, it allows you to go ahead and plug in Apple AV cables into your TV and port the iPad interface, the entire thing, to your TV. Similar to what Steve Jobs uses at the keynotes. As you can see, they have live um, iPhone displays if you ever watched any of the keynotes. And they just, it's no lag, um, it's real time streaming through the cable to the TV of what's happening on the iPhone on a big screen. So that is also very, very neat. Another thing we have here next week is G Power Pro. So if we go ahead and hold the power button here, you get three sliders compared to one. I'll go ahead and show you that again. It also has a nice animation. You can slide to power off, slide to reboot, or slide to respring. Um, just helpful for respringing, rebooting. Um, that way you don't have to turn it off, wait for it to turn off and turn back on. You can go ahead and do that. It's built into SB settings, but I think that's just a cooler way to do it. Next thing we have here is a kind of a combo. It was also a combo for the iPhone, and that is pull to refresh for mail, which just allows you to go ahead and refresh your mail just like so, right there by dragging down. It's in uh, Facebook and Twitter applications, um, and it's now also in things like Safari and mail. So you can see right there, pull down to refresh, release to refresh, it refreshes. Already downloaded that, so we're not going to download that again. But they're free, and they're in Cydia, and they're actually more helpful than they look. So that is pull to refresh for Safari and Mail. Another thing that I cannot show you, but is also nice this week, is Synchronicity. Um, synchronicity allows you to go ahead and use your iPad slash iPhone um, while you are syncing. So this way you do not have to dread syncing your iPad or iPhone as it sometimes takes four hours. You can go ahead and use every part of your iPhone slash iPad um, except for the iPod app to prevent music corruption while it's syncing. But, but other than that, you can go ahead and browse Safari, um, go on Twitter, go on Facebook, whatever, while it is syncing. Very, very nice and simple tweak. Not much else to it. Last thing we have here is multi-icon mover. Um, this can be very helpful if you are trying to go ahead and move multiple icons instead of dragging each one to a new page. You can just go ahead and select the ones you want, hit the home button, and they all move um, back to, or they move to where you want them to go on the page you want them to go. So if I want them to go back here, they're back. And they even go in the order that you tap. So that is it for my top 20 iPad jailbreak apps slash tweaks for 2010. Like I said, if you have any comments, leave them below. Anything I missed out, um, any errors or anything that you'd like to say, leave that in the comment um, and tell me your favorite um, tweaks, app slash tweaks, because these are not the only ones. Um, these are my personal favorites. So if you have ones that you use, leave them down below. Um, so hopefully you liked that video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter, very important, for um, important updates, news, and um, information on the next giveaway, which I have not officially announced yet, but we'll get into that soon. And then, um, last but not least, add me on Game Center at AppOSX. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.